so we are on the road and heading to Tallahassee. We are. Tallahassee, Florida. We're like 75 miles away from it. Yeah. And we're sure seeing a lot of trees down in this area. Um, they had a hurricane that came through and they're, they're still working to get it cleaned up after all these months. Welcome to your eastern time zone. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small That was uh, crazy seeing all that devastation. I, we didn't even realize we were coming into the area that uh, Michael Hurricane, Hurricane Michael. Michael had come in and just devastated their areas. Anyways, we are in Tallahassee, as you guys can see. Maybe you guys can see. I don't know if I got it on the way in. We're going to stop at this little convenience store. And then we are heading to another um, camping world. I'm not sure if they're going to have the same amenities as the last one that we stayed at. But still a nice place to stay overnight so that will be good absolutely all right we'll see you guys when we get back on the road or when we get to camping world hey everyone we are now here in tallahassee florida and we drove through uh some devastation on the highway pretty amazing but anyways at camping world and we joined them i want to say six days ago a, a good sam's club member and what they offer to their membership is in certain places, not all of them, free power, free water, nice little campsite on uh, some pavement here. They also have, up the hill here, they have propane, which you have to pay for, but a free dump also. And why Terry and I were in the store, we came across some reflectors. And I've been thinking about doing something on the rig just to kind of protect when if I'm stopped and I don't have lights on it so people can see me a little better. I was thinking about getting tape, but they had these things in there, two of these for three bucks. I can't go wrong, they're on clearance. So you can see we installed one, and I really like the look. I'm feeling much better already. So we'll put the other one over here. I think it's a really smart thing. I want to put some all over, actually. <laughs> That's Especially on this side after getting ran in the back, <laughs> you know. And you could put these wherever you want. We had to make a decision on ours to put them in the center. We wanted to put them up top of, by this black part here. But the problem is, is that we have the carpet, carpet. that overhangs. Yeah. So it would just, it would end up taking them off. You know, it would, it would push it off eventually. I think it's going to be, And I'm really liking yeah, it. Yeah. And there's no screws. It's, it's tape. So. Yeah. I'm sure they'll hold up. I mean, they're designed for that. So I wonder if I could get something that was um, that glowed at night that um, I could put right there. Yep, they do. They have that tape. They have glow tape. Um, you can find it on Amazon, and it actually brightens up the step area. You just have to go in and search for it. I'm if I that. can remember, I'll put a link there for it. <laughs> Oz has been shopping <laughs> at Camping World. <laughs> we are not being we're not endorsing camping world we're just we're just we're parked having here. fun yeah. <laughs> all right so we've just cleaned off the back bumper uh with some windex wiped it real good and i think we're good to go yep and then scotty just measured it out so it will be all even and and nice i'm really liking it i really am excited about that and down a little here
All right, so we got them all on. Yeah. Scotty got his flashlight out. I do. His it, little freebie. It, well, I had to pay for He's this. Gonna but. check it out. Bam! Can you see anything? <laughs> Not really. Oh, so you had some really dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh. With the mighty flashlight. <laughs> Every time I always have the baby light. Yeah. <laughs> You need to get a big boy light. I know. I'll grow up someday. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we were heading down uh, I-10 just out of Tallahassee. And I happened to see these uh, Asian buffaloes off in the field and everything. And... Uh, so I was like, we gotta figure out how to get down to see them. Now I remember these guys in Guam uh, growing up there, and we called them caribou. So, the, but these are Asian buffalo. Mr. Moore has around 70 of them on his farm, and he's the owner of the Antique Car Museum here, just just uh, I guess east of Tallahassee. And uh, I told Terry we have to stop and at least check them out and everything, because you don't you don't see these uh, guys very often. And he has a beautiful place. A couple ponds on each side here. We've got two of them <laughs> <They're> just <laughs> really <laughs> staring at us. Can you guys three. on camera? Sure. All right, so we're down here filming, and we've got two viewers that showed up. Pa Hello, my Patricia Susan. and Susan. From Tallahassee. From Tallahassee. Yeah. Right here. Uh, Oh, where we just came from. Well, I think we're in Tallahassee Are we still, still, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Have you and guys just been watching y'all since like 2015? Oh. When y'all first started out. Wow. Broke our hearts when the camper got hit. And it was, we're sitting here going, I'm going to go find this guy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> find him, but we love you guys. We want you all the time. Oh, and, we thank you. We and, so much appreciate yeah. that. It's, right it's awesome to meet you in person. It's Absolutely. Like, you know, we enjoy no it. scream between us now. No. <laughs> <laughs> and look where we are, at the end of the road. Right, right. And all the cows. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cows. Well, we appreciate you guys look stopping and, know, and finding us fun. here. So we just went down and Terry and I were showing you the uh, Asian buffaloes and this is Mr. Moore's car museum right here in Tallahassee. Terry and I are not going to be going in. It's um, $15 per person and uh, so really not on the budget and I believe Aja might be going in. But what I can do is show you a few cool little things that they have over on the other side. They have like an old camper sitting out there. So I'm going to go check that out. And, but pretty neat. It was nice uh, for Mr. Moore to let us go down and get pictures of the Asian uh, buffalo. Really sleek looking motorhome, Monaco. That is really a quite a beauty there. But we'll start out with uh, what they did to an old stump. I dig it. That looks like it's been around for a little while. Hey, now looking on this side, I believe that's a th old Thunderbird. The markings and that and the fins, I think those are like the late 50s model. Anyways, come back around and I spotted this camper back here, so we'll kind of check it out. Look at this old camper. That is classic. And I, the way, looking at the tires and everything, and the mud on the tires looks like that son of a gun actually is mobile. I think it's European or something like that. Yeah, Florida plates on it though. Just too cool.
see from here that angle it just looks like a trailer and I see an exhaust pipe down there I'm assuming that's because it has a generator on it because I thought I seen the big exhaust right there How cool. Look at that. And look in there. Almost reminds me of a Volkswagen. And it's a diesel. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Let's see if we can peer in the window and get a little view. Oh, this thing is clean. Let me clean that off a little. Wow. What a setup. Too cool. This thing's in nice shape. I have no clue how old it is, but that is one fancy looking unit there okay well until later on find something else interesting to check out hope you enjoyed that little camper because i sure did god it's in nice shape all right peace out everybody well hello y'all <laughs> <laughs> aloha oh, oh. aloha <laughs> Come oh, on, no. keep, keep the camera on. Ready? <laughs> oh, this, I got, I got this, is take, this is take what? <laughs> I don't know. Take 10. Howdy, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just find? A ring. <laughs>